key in. And here, I'm going to change this sound. I can go to my, so I'm going to go right here to the patch bank. Now I'll push this in so you can see what I'm doing. And I can go here, 10 more. I'll move my up to channel 3. Now I'm going to go to channel 4 on my MPC. And go to 5. Let's pick a new sound for 5. Here at 5, I'll press it in. I'll pick a different sound. So each time you change the MIDI channel on the 5080, you have to make sure that you change the MIDI channel on the MPC, right? Exactly. I'm making sure now I'm on MIDI channel 6 on my MPC. And as I play here, I have no sound. Look at that. No sound from a motif. Well, if something's wrong, I'll press MIDI. Uh -huh. I want to make sure that 6 is on. 6 receive is off. Let's turn it on. Now, I'll be able to trigger the sound I want and make sure my MPC is set up. Okay, I picked up my four sounds now, and now I'm going to layer them along with my MPC. Now, the reason why we're using our 50A is because we can actually use more than one sound in performance mode. Now, I already got my first sound picked out. It's a little so, bass sound I've got right here. It's pretty high. Yeah. A little bass sound there. Now I want to add something on my mini channel too. Okay. I'm going to practice this first. Now I'm going to play it. Two, three, four. That's wrong. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Channel three. And I'll press record and play. Two. layering sounds. Let's have a little fun here. A little track. It gives you an idea. That's why I'm doing such an abstract track. That way you can see and you can hear that I'm doing different things on a performance mode in my 5080. Now I'll go back here again for my next track. Now here I'll press record and play. doing here, I'm actually just making sure I have a separate MIDI channel for every sound. I make sure my MPC, the first sound I recorded on, was my drum on a separate track in that sequence. The next track in that sequence was MIDI channel 1. I made sure I had MIDI channel 1 set up here. The next track was MIDI channel 2. Then MIDI channel 3, 4, and 5. And you must make sure that you're on a proper MIDI channel. So when you do overlay your sounds and they get your beat together, you've got it right.